Hey there, Dr. Ashley Oxner here talking about sugar. So we're going to talk today about the, the term diabesity, which is um, a term that's been called by many authorities where we've linked diabetes with obesity. And quite frankly, many times that's due to sugar consumption, especially, of course, when we're talking about type 2 diabetes. Um, a couple things to understand about refined sugars especially. So refined sugars and high fructose corn syrup they don't come with any protein. So I'm, I'm re referencing an article by Dr. R Robert Lustig who is uh, taking on this thing sugar to help really bring to light the dangers of it and its toxic effects. And what he explains here is that these simple sugars, the refined sugar and the high fructose corn syrup, don't come with any protein, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, fiber, or anything. So they either displace other more nutritious elements of our diet or are eaten over and above what we need to sustain our weight. And this is why we get fatter, okay? So keep that in mind as we kind of shift to the next thing because these empty calories is, is a concept that's very important because in nutrition, forever now, nutritionists and dietitians say a calorie is a calorie, a calorie. Well, that's not necessarily the case. So what I want you guys to understand the difference between isocaloric and isometabolic as Dr. Lustig describes. Because for instance, if you ate 100 calories of glucose, which is sugar, and let's say the source of that was from maybe a potato or some bread or some kind of a starch. Okay, so you eat 100 calories of that starch, and then you just eat 100 calories of half glucose, half fructose, where it's just the sugar, okay? Um, they're gonna be metabolized differently in the body, even though each equates to and equals only 100 calories. So metabolism versus caloric content is so important to understand when we look at nutrition in your body. So don't buy into this old school dated theory and, and, and information that a calorie is a calorie is a calorie. It's just not true. What's true is your body metabolizes different things in different ways. So it's important to understand sugar at that level. We want to end obesity, especially childhood obesity, that starts by decreasing sugar consumption. So we're hosting on Saturday, November 1st, an awesome event. It's our after Halloween recovery party. Kids are bringing in their candy, adults too, you can bring yours. You exchange the candy for chances to win prizes. We're gonna have great prizes for the kids. Um, as well, we're going to x-ray any of the candy, the, the little bit that the children do choose to keep to make sure that it's safe and none, hasn't been tampered with. We're going to have organic chili that day. We're going to have a clown here, Kenny the Clown. Uh, we're going to also have organic healthy popcorn and just a great day to really celebrate health, reducing sugar content and intake so that people can absolutely live healthier lives. Listen, the quote unquote flu season's upon us. Your vitamin D levels crash, and some people miss their adjustments. Other people haven't even been to the chiropractor yet to help their nervous system support their immune system. We hit the sugar at the end of the month and through the holidays, and we set ourselves up for a disaster. So avoid this from happening to you and your family. Start by coming to our event. It's going to be awesome. So hope to see you all there. It's free. It's fun. Take care.